Hi, my name is Rex Flannery. I'm a candidate for the Springfield Ward in Casey Council. Um, I'm a family man, uh, married with three children and two stepchildren. Uh, I've lived in the city of Casey for 15 years. I also have worked in the city of Casey for 15 years. I'm a theatre technician for the St John of God Hospital. One of the key issues with uh, running for Casey Council elections is that uh, I believe that uh, we have a lack of transparency and consultation. Uh, we formed the Casey Resident Ratepayers Group. A uh, group, group of people got together because we believed that there was a lack of consultation. So we decided that we would write letters to Casey Council and to the State Minister uh, for grievances over different issues within the city of Casey. Uh, one being a lack of transparency, uh, travel allowances. Um, people were travelling overseas on junkets and we decided that why can't they do teleconferencing. We also believe that uh, Casey Council was uh, not really uh, talking to the community. They talk about Bunjil Place being built at a cost of $125 million and that nobody would have to uh, pay any, any, any more rates, their rates wouldn't have to go up. And then we find that the case state government, which we wrote letters to Natalie Hutchison, the uh, Minister for Local Government, we wrote her letters stating that we believe that uh, Casey Council should cap, we should have our rates capped. And that when it was capped, then we heard Casey Council decided that they wanted to increase rates by uh, capital works projects. If capital works projects weren't carried out, that we may either be, have them put on hold or will be suspended. And we, we thought that was a little bit strange coming from a council that already said that they had um, money in the bank for Bunjil Place. And now we find out that they're selling properties to uh, support uh, the building of Bunjil Place. And we find that those um, properties that could pro probably be well used for different other reasons and therefore Casey Council said they had the money and now all of a sudden they, they need to borrow money and that there is what we can't understand and that's why we want to fight and get into Council and find out where the money is so we can actually explain to the local residents and ratepayers where the money is and what they're doing with it. I would like to thank everybody for voting and all those people that haven't voted just, just yet. I would like to I would like you to consider me for uh, being a candidate for uh, your candidate of Springfield Ward. I'll be open and transparent. And if you need me, I'll be, I'll be available for consultation. I will come to your house and discuss any issues that you need to be discussed. And any time that you need to, uh, I'll only be a phone call away.